Hey there guys, TennisBubba13 here, and welcome back to some more Let's Play Kirby's Return to Dreamland Extra Mode. We're about to head to level 4, quite possibly one of my favorite worlds in this game, simply because we got ice levels. And who doesn't love ice levels? Certainly Kirby does. So, let's go ahead and get started with stage 1. I know this hasn't been going on for quite some time. Um, I kind of apologize for the lack of videos, but um, I had... <clears throat> of course, my vacation time. I went to Vegas, Las Vegas. And here's the fighting ability. Um, the fire ability is kind of like my second favorite at the moment. The one thing I love about Wolf 4 is that it has some like one of my favorite abilities that <laughs> I just cannot resist in Kirby games. So here's the legendary Hadouken. If you charge that up, you can also do a quick Hadouken by doing the the forward punch motion. If you played Street Fighter, you pretty much know how that goes. So, yeah, kind of lacking in the video products since I haven't been really able to do anything Let's Play re related since this vacation started. Um, but I'm finally back to, I'm finally back in California and gonna try to see if I can get some more stuff recorded. I pretty much have some stuff recorded already. Um, this is all post commentary, so I have like a couple. I think I have up to this well finished. And then everything will be back to normal once I start my next recording session of this game. But, um, yeah, so I'm finally back to say that things will probably start going back up to the way it was supposed to be. Uh, back to normal. Good old normal self. Alright, so, <clears throat> moving quite along, let's grab the fire ability. This, uh, we're gonna be kind of going back and forth between fire and ice from this very lovely gimmick. Alright, so let's get rid of that. First energy sphere, that is that, and we're just going to kindly make ourselves over to the next room. I don't think there's anything else, oh well, I would take the fighting ability, it's pretty cool. I love that Billy so much. Alright, so now we got, ooh, this cannon thing again. Let's go ahead and grab this, ah, there we go. So really much, nothing does else say, but like, you know, things have been really going so active on this channel. Um, other than just like GoldenEye with Bubba stuff, I did say I was going to come back to that soon. Uh, you probably saw the little thing I posted on my Twitter account. Uh, don't worry, that will probably be happening this weekend. Um, well, basically, yeah, that's going to happen this weekend. I'm going to probably make another video about the uh, how to join, if you are available to join. I pretty much posted my friend request or friend code down in one of my update videos, so if you haven't seen that video, you should probably check it out because that's most likely where all my friend codes are going to go for it. Many people are interested in adding me. You're welcome to do so. Alright, so here's where I make my... Ooh. Okay. First off, let's grab this. This is kind of easy to miss. I don't know why it is, but I... Oh. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> I've always had trouble, like, for, when I first played this, I missed that energy sphere, like, right off the bat. I didn't even know I was supposed to go up from beforehand. Let's just go ahead and speed run through this. Nope, oh, didn't mean to go that way. Come on, Kirby. Yeah, there we go. So we've already gotten the energy sphere, so we don't need to worry about that again. This time, let's go this way. And this room right here can actually be kind of tricky because there's a cannon down there that you don't want to miss because that will lead you to the last energy sphere. So let's take this cannon. This was the one I believe I missed too. So I not only missed two energy spheres in this level from the very beginning. It was kind of weird going to backtrack all this stuff. Alright, so let's swallow a couple of enemies here. I think we can get the water ability. Not only that, there's one of my other uh, favorite abilities coming up here. I think it's a little bit further ahead. Well, there's the water ability. At least suck that up so I can show you that, that this is the water ability. And here we are. There's the last energy sphere for this first level. Here we have the mic ability. And ow, god. No, I don't want to swallow that. And I didn't mean to destroy it. Let's go ahead and walk all the way back. Kirby, don't you dare die. I can't die on the first level after coming back for so long. There we go. So the mic ability has three different attacks. This one being the basic, you know, not so special mic ability. But later on, 
we'll show you. I think I might. There's a boss, mini boss fight coming up. See, there's the second form. The last one here, you can kind of charge it up and like release a big, big power up attack. You know, for the sake of this, I want to show this off. I know this is going against the no abilities, but he's not even quite dead yet from that. Well, let's go ahead. We already fought this guy beforehand. So let's pretty much beat this crap. Oh, that darn shield. I forgot you can't really swallow those attacks, but okay. I'm just gonna keep charging into those apparently. Alright, that should probably take care of you. And give me my sword. Cause I can't stand not avoiding the sword ability. Alright, so let's grab the whip, grab this little extra life. And I think that's about it for this level. So let's get out of here. Everyone's favorite goal game. Let's go for the goal. That's probably not good. <laughs> I'm going to be kind of rusty from doing this. Because it's actually been quite a while when I recorded this. So my timing was kind of off. Whatever. I don't mind like a few star bits here and there. But let's finish up that stage. Nothing to unlock. Alright. So stage two, let's get started. This has four energy spheres. And let's do it. Now I believe stage two, I think those owls will give you ice ability right there. Just want to double check. I do believe, yeah, this is ice ability Kirby right here. Okay. But not only that, there's another ability that I really like here. And it's coming up pretty soon. Also, there's Falling Snowman, so be sure to watch out for that. Alright, and here we have... Oh man, Ninja Kirby! This is quite possibly the best ability from this game, if not one of the sickest abilities from any Kirby game. You can also do this, I've never really done that before. And there's a whole lot of move lists for this ability. If you feel free, you can press the start button, check out all those abilities if you want to. I'm not really sure if I'll show all of them off, but at least I've shown off quite some of the, the, the basic stuff for the ninja ability. And before we go into this room right here, let's just quickly jump up. And we can also um, cling onto the walls, like any ninja would do. And we can get some food and some extra lives. And dive kicks for the win. <laughs> Alrighty, so let's get these. Now, this room is kind of a bitch because I've actually kind of almost died. Uh, I'm pretty sure I didn't die from this room. But we want to get. Oh, fine, I'll get rid of this. <laughs> you dumb bastards. Let's get the fire ability here because I believe we need this. God damn it! These ice spears are so annoying. Okay. Oh my god, this is not helping me. Alright, I'm gonna die, I just know it. Whoa, god! Come here, you! There we go. Swallow you up. Alright, get rid of these ice spheres. And let's light this on fire. And quickly now, cause... Oh, fudge. It always had to be the ice spheres. It always had to be this darn ice spheres. Alright, so. God damn it, these things are so annoying. Also, these guys, too, are rather obnoxious as well, because they have those shells on their backs, and you have to, like, swallow them and also take care of their other bodies. So it's kind of annoying fighting those guys. Alright, so let's get a little bit of health back and try this again the good way. There we go. And if we hurry up, because this thing will actually be a lot faster than the original game. And by that, I mean the main adventure. When you play the mains, you know what I'm talking about. The normal version of this game. And in here, this is going to be kind of a doozy. You gotta, gotta, whoa. Yeah, you basically, we need the fire ability to complete this. Alright, so, let's get out of here. And back down to this room. Ah, uh, fine, I'll grab the water ability. 
Let's do it. Get a little ice cream and some stars. Alright, there we go. And now, let's see. I think this room coming up is going to be another super ability. Oh no, it's this thing right here. The, the good old boots, you know. From good old Super Mario Bros. 3 days. You know what I'm talking about. If any of you ever played Super Mario Bros. 3 and played this game, you probably just recognize the mechanics that we have to go through. Alright, so... Let's smash this. I believe this is a... Okay, it's just some water. Let's jump off of this. I think right here... Whoop. Oh, okay. Hold on, be right back. Alright, sorry about that little cut right there. Um, I was kind of interrupted, but let's keep on going. And let's try bouncing off all of these here. Perfect. One shot. And we get our second energy sphere. Now we can just simply move across here without worrying about these snowballs hovering above us. And let's keep on going. I believe that's all we can really do here for the for the boots segment of this room. Yeah, that pretty much does it. So let's move on to, I believe we have a couple more rooms left. And here we have our good old rock ability. Or stone, if you want to get all technical about it. Let's go ahead and ride down this place with the stone. Pretty fun. I was <laughs> not really sure why I love the stone ability that much, but still. Never really quite had much fun with some of these rooms right here. And cool, extra life. Alright, so let's keep on going down here. Alright, Mr. Gordo. I want those stars! Okay, well, at least I got one star, so I think that's good enough. Alright, moving on to... Hopefully this is the last room. If not, then whatever. We'll just keep on having fun. Looks like we got another mini-boss fight coming up. And guess what? We have an old familiar face, but this time, rather upgraded. This is Super Bonkers EX. This, will, this guy is pretty much the same as the, the, the regular Bonkers EX, I'm not mistaken. But all it is now that he's going to give us a super ability, I think one that we haven't quite seen before. So pretty much, I think the same thing applies. He'll do this, which sends out all of his bombs. Alright, got him good there. Let's see. Ooh, I'll take that big one right there. Yeah. And what's he gonna do? I think... Oh, you jerk. You jerk. Alright, give me that super ability. And this is the Grand Hammer Kirby! It's hammer time! Now, the thing about this ability is that you're gonna need the Wiimote to activate this. Just kind of shake it. And depending on how well you shake it, the, the hammer thing will get bigger and bigger. And certain objects will require you to shake it and make it bigger, so these ones I don't think really need that much explanatory. So there you go. And we get some stars and some food along with that. Alright, let's pound this. See, there's the second version of the hammer. Hey, cool, we got some covers from those ice spheres. Alright, so let's pound this sucker if you want. There's the big version of it. That's the final form of the hammer. Alright, so we're gonna have to pound these guys away. Get out of my way! And die. So I think we got like one more of these little segments right here. Oh goody, some more stars that I can just abuse. Because who loves cheaping out on lives now and then? Oh god. Now, I believe this one here we need the full hammer. So let's do this. There we go. And would you look at that, it's our friendly portal. Leading us to a very friendly, friendly spot. Just kidding, it's the, it's the Vortex. 
Man, I'm getting a lot of extra lives in this level for some reason. Alright, so in this little section we have most of the items that we can collect, which are the stars, keys, or I think I'll call them star keys. Alright, so let's swallow these up here. Yeah, most of these are going to have the items that we somehow come across. So I think this first section is just the keys. There's actually another bonus game that's going to rely on these little items towards the end. And I'm pretty sure if you played the main story, then you know what I'm talking about. Let's clear the path there, and open the final key. And let's go ahead and grab this cannon, because we have to sort of traverse our way through this area with the cannon ability. Some of these are going to be kind of annoying because like, there's bombs that are going to be located high above. And we also got these destroyable platforms which is not very good for us since we might have a chance of falling. But I think that's pretty much it. And goodbye. Okay. So now of course, ooh we got ninja and we got fire. <laughs> As much as I really want to go for ninja. So here we have, I think this is a new form of Spear Doomers. This is the electric form. Or the plasma. I guess I'll call this the spark form. Because this thing will actually give us the spark ability. And he's got quite a few number of attacks which will do very, very little dodging. So let's see here. Oh jeez, there's a freaking person outside with the lawnmower. Uh, hopefully you guys can't hear this. Alright, so let's charge that. Ooh, dodge that. I would like to get some stuff from you, Mr. Spear Doomer, if that's okay with you. Instead of you could just stop, you know, with the portals and everything. Alright, there we go. That should be enough there. Give me that. Alright. So maybe one more should do it. And take that! Alright! There we go. Last energy spheres for this level completed. And thank god I need that maximum tomato. For some reason I always have trouble with those electric forms. And it's really not one of my favorite forms of the spear doomers. <laughs> Alright, so let's get on out of here. Gold time. Can we get that one, baby? Nope, I guess we'll have to stick with number two, because that's the best number around. I mean, second's the best, right? Well, that's all good. Alright, so that's going to probably do it for this video. Hey, we got another challenge. The bomb challenge. Ooh, that's probably like one of my second favorite abilities. So let's go ahead and call this a video. I will see you guys next time, and thanks for watching. Peace.